audacity, using the Z button to make cuts smooth. This is Phil, the LibriVox video guy. Some basic audacity editing tools. Today we're going to be talking about the Z, or zero crossing cut. Many times when we make our cuts, and of course every track that we ever make or ever record will require us to cut things out. Now, when you remove a selection from an Audacity audio track, you we realize that it is actually a wave going up and down, and where we cut it makes a difference. This is a sample of an Audacity waveform. You notice it goes up and down, up and down, and of course this middle section here, this line at zero, indicates it's zero volume. It's nothing there. Uh, this is a, this is the highest volume, and this is. When we make a cut, if we make a cut like this, like that, I want to cut that out, you'll notice that what happens is it goes here to here, and you can hear the little click when you replay it. You'll, there'll be a click or a bump or something in there. So we don't want to do that. Cut. What you want to do is you want to cut it from exactly where it crosses at zero, well, here, to exactly wherever it crosses at zero here. Now this can be extremely time consuming. So Audacity has a built-in tool. Uh, so when you're making your cuts, you simply draw where you want. Doesn't matter where it falls. For example, you press the letter Z, if I can get that into my thing here. And Audacity will move it to the very closest zero crossing. So that's what the Z does. Now let's now, for example, this is part of a word I want to take out. I simply highlight the word without paying attention to exactly where it falls. Press the letter Z. And LibriVox will find the exact zero crossing so there's no bump or click. That's it. So to remove a word, you highlight it. Press Z. Cut. And that's it. And remember, it's a good idea to use the C key, the Play Cut Preview key, before cutting things so you can hear what it's going to sound like. I have another video explaining that on the LibriVox forum. Have fun and keep recording.